So that, that one there is an 18 AG. And this black one, the red one is 18, the black one is 10. Hmm. That's logical. Small number, more wire. Also got this, these connectors, four millimeter bullets for the mains power to go into the Tangy battery with the bullet connector. Mm -hmm. On the unit, you can see it here. It's all soldered up, soldered on the board. Ready to go. I have now got the couple of pallets. Oh, I got tired of waiting for the Hobie King back order. So I had a look on eBay and found a little store in Adelaide which was selling these nice carbon. Blades balanced. Notice the the bits of tape on here, which is balancing them out. These were about six dollars a pair. So basically, put them on. It's getting closer, and I will post the the link to the site where I got these blades because they, they're quite nice. See what they're like when they're flying, but I'll post them up on the uh, in the comments of the YouTube video. Right. There we have the props for the motors. Put a bit of foam around the KK2. And finally, Tangy 9x and the receiver has arrived so we're going to stick that on so we can make this sucker fly so I've attached the receiver with the ground pins on the bottom so the brown pins brown pins are ground red positive yellow signal, signal at the top. So I'm just going to attach that, that there on the board. And then on the KK2, brown is on the outside. I've bound the unit. So we can basically plug it in. Switcher. Mm. Oh, that one up. And uh, safe mode. We pull this down here. the wires on this one, that was the only one not going the correct way. Yeah. Better. And here is the finished product. At the moment I've got some of the cheaper blades on it, props, just because I uh, had a bit of an incident with a tree with my good ones. I turned off the controller 
because that's what you do with the, uh, the V912s, etc. These little babies, when you finish, you turn the controller off. Well, I did that with this one, and then turned the controller back on. And it shot up in the air, a million miles an hour, straight into a tree. That's the result, so don't do that. Anyway, they're dead. I've got another six of the good ones, but just while I'm testing, I'm using some of these. I got these for, I don't know, it was like eight for eight for ten dollars or something, but they work really well. Been out for a test fly. Pretty happy with the results. Put the foam around the KK2 into the 9X control receiver. Power. Battery's charging up again for the next go. And the battery itself, I've put these little foam bits on the bottom of it. And basically, I just slide it straight into the end here and strap it down inside. The foam bits keeps it off the uh, active hub on the bottom. So the cable basically, this cable comes out the end here. So this cable here from the battery comes out the back. I just loop that over the top. Plug it in, and away she goes, and you can see the test flight on the uh, on the videos. Pretty happy with it. Flies really well. I've only tried it in um, self-leveling mode because I'm too terrified at the moment to try it in in acro mode. But uh, anyway, there it is. Great little machine. Thanks for watching. Sort of got it out last night and just did a few hovers in the backyard and set up the auto leveling so it was this is all flying in auto level mode too. Yeah. So if you just take your hands off the stick at auto levels. Yeah. So if I just let go of everything. Oh yeah. It, it'll keep going in the direction it was gently, yep. but it just becomes goes level. And last night when I was doing it it was just going backwards a little bit, so I just adjusted that trim a bit. Is that done on the control board or on the actual trim on your stick? On the control board. That's it. Bring it. Mm. What? Not bad, is it?